Our next tool is the flash tool, and it's going to give us kind of a effect similar to the saturated line tool, but slightly different. And you can find it. Here's our uh, the menu we've been working under, but right below it, there's the letter A. If we click on that, and for some reason, it's included with the text tool right next to it, even though it's nothing like the text tool. This is one of those things where I would rearrange these, but for whatever reason, it's put under the text tool and it has several options and let's just click on one and take a look. So this, if I drag a circle again, it is going to create this kind of flash shape that we can modify. We can change the number of uh, points and so on. There's all kinds of ways we can change it. Yeah, so toy around with that. The next one is the flash and it it has two colors and anytime there's two colors with one of these tools it's going to be using our foreground and our background color so let's take a look and I release and I'm going to zoom in so you can see this the edge has this spiky look which is using our foreground and the purple is our background color and you can again we'll change this when we look at colors later on and the next one is the dense flash Pretty intricate line work around the edge of this, so this is pretty cool. And as as always, these can all be modified using our sub tool. Lots of changes we can make to these. Lots lots of stuff we can do. That it would take me an entire course if I went over every single thing. So I'm not going to go over every minute detail, but I think you can uh, play around with these on your own. And you'll be able to figure them out. Most of them are pretty uh, self-explanatory. Okay, let's take a look at the other ones. We have the sea urchin flash. This one looks like this. And again, it's using two colors. Oh, I accidentally hit it again, so it's right there as well. And then finally, we have the firework, which in my opinion looks nothing like a firework, but um, I don't know. Maybe in manga, this is a standard firework, but I'm sure you don't have to use it for a firework. You can, you can use it for something else, and maybe if you tweak it, you can get it to look like a firework, an actual firework. I think actually that um, some of these other ones, like the Search and Flash, would be a better firework, but who knows. Anyways, that is the Flash tool. You find it right under the text tool, right next to it.